Hey, I'm at the Paradise Life Mansion Party, man. I came across this cool brother who's sitting at the bar, chopping it up. Some interesting stories he was telling, but I'm just gonna get into more and more depth about his life and who he is. Go ahead, my man. Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, I go by the name New Dean. Uh, my name is Dean. Uh, came on the scene probably about three years ago, just after getting out of a marriage, I guess you could say a bad marriage in the States, and realized that I wasn't, would never, uh, didn't want to be in America anymore, didn't want to, uh, would never get married in America. So my destination of choice uh, was Brazil. So I would say over these last few years, I've been kind of selling all my stuff, uh, kind of like, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, the, the, the general, I can't think of his Tell name. Tell him made. Yeah, tell him made. So I, I, I live in Atlanta right now too, kind of following his path, but um, nice. my destination of choice is, is Brazil. Okay. Uh, and I'm basically, at this point, I actually traveled to Brazil before I got married, so I started learning Portuguese in 2011, and at this point, I'm pretty much fluent in-, in Are you really? Yeah. Say yeah. something, let me hear something. Uh, que que eu fazer para você, para você. So what did you want me to say to you? Whatever you want to say, I don't even know what the hell you just said, but it sounds uh, Portuguese to me, my man. Yeah. But I know that's one of the hardest languages to learn, right? Yeah, so most guys in America learn Spanish first, right? I never really wanted to learn Spanish because I didn't like how it sounded and, and the rolling of the R's was hard. Yeah, yeah. I always loved how Portuguese sounded, like the, the sound to me. So I studied Portuguese for a good 10 years and I was like, all right, I'll go over to Spanish. And I've probably studied Spanish for about two years and I usually tend to study about the country I want to go to so I've studied Dominican Spanish uh, mm. for about two years I I never take the easy way out in anything I do uh, Brazilian Portuguese is hard I learned a lot of slang there too I, I know a lot of uh, Dominican Spanish uh, Dominican slang too so I can pretty much halfway understand Dominican so, good, good, good. Yeah. but you're definitely fluent in Portuguese though Yep. Okay. Quasi that's that's definitely. I heard that's half the battle. Yeah, quasi fluent. That means that means like almost fluent. But okay. Like, uh, in Spanish, casi is same thing as quasi. But yeah. Um, and then they have their same. Just like in Spanish, they have in Brazil, they have broken Portuguese. Um, I, I'll give you an example. Like, um, if you want to say, "What are you doing?" You say, "Okay, você está fazendo." Okay, but. Most Brazilians are gonna say "que está fazendo," so they'll cut the words in half, just gotcha. like kind of like we do in, in English. Gotcha, gotcha. Right. Gotcha. So, so what do you, uh, what are your plans now? Like, what do you, what do you plan? Like, man, my plans. Um, I have a, I already have a. Uh, uh, my next trip is in December, which is in a few months. Is is booked for Brazil. Nice. And I'll be staying there for at least three months. Um, so my career is in IT. Um, when it comes to jobs, I won't accept anything that's not 100% remote. Mm. They tell me they want to pay me twice as much. I'm like, no, I don't even want to hear it because mm. I'm not coming into anyone's office at this point. Gotcha. You know? And then when I'm overseas, I'll use a hardware VPN device, mm. connect that to the um, Wi-Fi spot in your, in your Airbnb. Yeah. And then you, that has a, a wireless access point and you connect to that. Then all your internet traffic, whether it be your phone mm. or your computer, mm. is routed back to the States. So. Right. Yeah, I'm big on, I had I had toyed around with the idea of starting a YouTube channel. It'd be about how, how to travel. You know, a lot yeah. of guys, maybe, who knows, maybe my channel would be boring, but you know, a lot of guys just show women. I'm, I'm like, wow, that's great to show you women, but how do you get here? Exactly, you know? exactly. And but that would be a good page. You should definitely yeah. do it, man. Yeah, I think I might. And then, you know, I'm I I'm sure might. you got the equipment. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm kind of a minimalist at this point. But um, the only thing you, well, you yeah. can use your phone. Yeah, yeah, I may just do that and be like, hey, this is my page, this is the phone I use. If you don't like it, you know, say your baby and you know, go somewhere else. You know? We're gonna start it today too. We're gonna start it today. Yeah, all right, all right. Yeah. All hey, you gotta do is shoot uh, footage, man. Walk into the store, whatever you see. Just, yeah. You feel, just be creative, man. Yeah, and one thing I may do, like um, some guys will do um, language lessons. Yeah. But what I would do um, is I'll do Spanish and I'll translate it to Portuguese. Uh -huh. Because I know, you know, both of those enough, I could study Spanish right before I do the, the thing. And I know the Portuguese well enough. Um, and then I'll even do like some some slang. Okay, okay. There, you know. so you're incorporating that into the lesson. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. gotcha, gotcha. And, and so I'll, I'll give you a lesson right now about Brazil, right? This is something that I had to kind of realize and think about. So 
the place where poor people live uh, are called favelas. A lot of people know that in Brazil. Um, but that's a bad term now, right? So now the, the, the politically correct term in Brazil is to call that place a community. Oh, wow. Right? I didn't know so that. the word for uh, community in, in Portuguese is comunidade, right? Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of social norms that you got to realize. It's, it's very hard to, as the Americans, it's hard to understand. So I was in a cab when I was in Brazil last time, and, and the guy said, oh, I can let you out there, but that's next to a community. So in my, my American initial thought was, like, okay, community, that's no bad, uh, that's no problem. But in my head, I had to think, wait, <laughs> he said community in English. I have to turn that into comunidade and then turn that into favela, which means this is this is the place. Let me get the fuck out of here. Right. <laughs> this is the place where little kids carry uh, yes. fuzil, yes. which means a uh, rifle and, 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 and machine guns. So you don't want to be there. Uh, so there's just a, there's a lot, lot of stuff to learn. Here's another thing I learned about Brazil just through um, being there. Like, um, they don't use pepper. Okay. If you say, can I have some pepper, they're gonna bring you some hot sauce. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, so to say pepper, you have to say pepper of the kingdom, kind of like really? British, yeah. Pimenta do reino. Oh, wow. Yeah, so in, in, in Spanish, you got a, a middle syllable. Pimienta, Portuguese, you take out that middle syllable for any word that has an E, right? Mm. Pimenta mm -hmm. is Portuguese, Pimienta is Spanish, right? Okay. Um, uh, another example of that middle E, that middle syllable is like um, muerto, which means dead, right? Yeah. And Portuguese is morto. Oh, okay. You take out that middle syllable. Right? Okay. So there's a lot of, again, I've, I've done Portuguese and Spanish long enough to kind of translate them, so. Okay, okay. Hey, look, man, I appreciate you talking to me, man. Definitely, definitely. So, any closing words before I go, man? Oh, man. What's today? What, what, what do you got on the agenda for today, man? Where are you? Uh, we in Sosua at the Paradise Life Mansion Party. And what do you got planned for yourself today, man? We're just going to... Uh... We're gonna look around and look at some Nate, some some women having some good, fun at, at this party right at here. This, that's some good Christian fun, right? Yeah, that's right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Thanks again, bro. All right, thank you.